Hello! Welcome to another Foundry Quick Tip. And in this one I will be discussing some of the updates and I'll try to do a concise review of um, the power behind the throne that has been released. So without further ado, let's get cracking. A um, couple of things uh, that have been um, streamlined, uh, updated, implemented, or translated. Well, but there's a lot of things actually, but there's only a couple of things that I will be uh, showing here because otherwise you might miss them. And I think most of the updates will, well, you'll figure them out naturally as they don't impact the game uh, that much, they just streamline things. Uh, one cool feature is that if an actor is targeted, and uh, uh, subsequently attacked. So when you start in a post test, then in the combat tab, they will see uh, whoever or whatever is attacking them. So that's a pretty neat feature. Um, pretty helpful when you have like loads and loads of tokens on your uh, map and the player might not know what it is that is attacking them, so this is clear. So if there's multiple things targeting or attacking you, of course, the list will expand. The player can also just remove that. But it will still be uh, an opposed test. It will continue. Another uh, nice little uh, feature, let's just cancel this, there you go. Another nice little feature is, if you go to the trappings, and let's give this dude a gold crown. And then you will notice one gold crown equals 20 shillings, equals 240 pennies. And uh, it will state how many pennies you have. And you can consolidate. This all is not new. Uh, but what is new is that you can now move that gold coin over to the shillings. And it will instantly make it into tw 20 shillings. And you can also move the shillings over to the pennies so you can not only consolidate into the fewest coins but you can also uh, well, have the most coins but do note that having a shitload of brass pennies will influence your encumbrance and you can consolidate them back i think this is uh, pretty convenient because sometimes you you don't just want gold you want to actually have some uh, some change it's easier to do uh, some trading uh another uh, thing oh i didn't need to close it another thing um this character has frenzy normally that is an effect that's always uh, on so to speak um now when you add the effect to uh or the talent to a player it is disabled standard and you can just tick this box and now it is enabled so particularly handy for um talents or things uh that require an activation for instance frenzy you need to roll a willpower test to activ activate it or to, to become frenzied so this way you're not frenzied you are frenzied you're not frenzied you are frenzied so that's a convenient thing to do now Let's get uh, cracking and see uh, what that um, uh, Empire Behind the Throne, uh, Power Behind the Throne uh, thing is all about and if it's worth your money. Well, uh, let me see up front. Of course it's worth your money. Foundry is just uh, such a wonderful tool uh, and having uh, the modules all ready and you don't have to do it all yourself is just fantastic. Um, Scenes first. Um, everything uh, Power Mind the Throne is, uh, if you initialize it, nicely uh, organized into folders as usual. You get uh, a whole bunch of um, maps. I've got a couple of here. Now, warning up front, there might be spoilers. I don't know. I've tried to keep it spoiler free. But uh, if you intend to uh, play this, you know, watch out for possible spoilers i don't think there are any but um there's a there's a nice little map of course uh which you travel along 
Uh, gives you an indication how fast the coach will travel. Um, there's a nice little map. And what I like about these uh, these maps is they all have got this sort of artwork around it. Uh, there's a nice little map of uh, Middenheim and the surroundings with this Britstock. And another closer up of Britstock and then an overview of the town itself. Uh, there's uh, loads and loads of these kinds of um, houses and layers and all kinds of things. And of course, they are... Um, well, let's just go with this guy. They are all uh, with walls and lighting and doors. So let's just be a little closer. So that's all uh, neat. Everything is set up the way uh, you want it so you can use it immediately and again all the the maps have a nice border uh, good uh, legend and uh, some nice artwork so that's really cool uh, one thing so maybe possible spoilers here so <laughs> maybe quickly look away is uh, it can be uh, hard to uh, keep track of who knows who and what knows what so you've got this uh, influence uh, map that's, uh, that's a cool thing Let's go back to uh, land map. There you go. Um, of course, it comes with a, a so that's the scenes. There's a there's a lot more. Um, it comes with a lot of actors, uh, all arranged in um, uh, the chapters in which they appear. Um, the companion also has separate um, tokens. Um, this is a nice one. They all got. And nice artwork and uh, like this one tough guy <laughs> so yeah the nice tokens already uh, ready to use in uh, this campaign instance or in your own campaigns if you want of course um oh and the uh companion also has uh i like these flying death skull and uh flying death ear skull the difference is this one's small and the other one's little. So <laughs> that's funny. Um, some uh, new stuff in here Gifts of Slanesh. Um, basically, uh, mutations and stuff. Uh, some spells of Slanesh. Uh, some um, extra or alternate, depends on how you want to use them. Uh, miracles for Ulrichs, Ulrican priests. And some uh, some stuff. Um, I won't go into detail with that stuff because of spoilers. And of course, all the uh, the journal notes nicely arranged into the chapters, and um, also uh, the companion, also information about the Jade Scepter, uh, about the cult of Ulrich, uh, about the people, uh, and I think that's. Um, in this in this uh, chapter of the campaign, you need to keep track of who's who and where they are and what they're doing, and they've arranged it very well in this um, in this. Uh, let's see. So you get uh, who are they, where are they, who to know, you know. So per per, like say NPC um, in the uh, in the game. So it's easy to. Um, to keep track this person for instance uh, as a gem of um, of everybody's going about and whereabouts so that's uh, very good uh, other than just you know just the basic stats of the person it's also there of course but um, yeah and more flying death skills um, and of course uh, it has tons and tons of cool art um, welcome to Middenheim. Nice introduction text with a cool art, and if you click here, you can get a little bit more. And for some reason, it is mirrored, but that's okay. I like how this person seems to drop something, so I hope there's nobody standing below and getting hit in the head with it. A uh, nice uh, atmospheric uh, image of the um, the bridges. And a nice coach ride. 
and I really like this picture. Kind of see-through dude here, and the skull in the wall. Yeah, what's going on here? Uh, some stuff about Purple Hand, and of course, some nice artwork. And I like this artwork. It's all like different, um, different style, different type. Some is more detailed, some is more impressionistic. I like this is how you can just make stuff out in the mist. And uh, some have uh, like artworks in the text as well, and then different artwork. I like this one, like e. It's a little bit. The perspective is a little bit off, maybe, but I like it. It's dramatic. Cool. Um, yeah, further than that, there's no real um, real uh, surprises. I think uh, anybody who wants to play uh, the Enemy Within campaign will uh, surely enjoy uh, this module for, uh, for Foundry. And, um, oh, as usual, don't forget, forget to like, like and subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, post them in the uh, in the comments. So, catch you later. Bye bye.